Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's lesson, we're going to be doing lip sync using the X sheet. Here I have a character called the wizard and he's going to be talking some dialogue inside the animation. We have an example made just for us to take a look at and use as reference as we go ahead and practice doing the lip sync to the audio track. We have an audio track supplied and we will try to use it. We have an audio track that will guide us in order to make mouth shapes in the drawings. First, let's take a look at the reference and watch it play a little bit so we can get an idea of the mouth shapes. One, please. Is this fighting here something that occurs often? Ah! Excuse me. Oxidia. Ignis! One thing to mention, in your preferences, make sure that your audio scrubbing is turned off from analog. So that way you can listen to the audio in your timeline clearly. One please. As you notice, the audio is not clear with the analog scrubbing, so I will turn it off again and then you can hear the difference. One, please. So using the X sheet, I can actually go ahead and load up the waveform and I can see it here as well as set the audio levels and also set the audio volume to be louder or quieter. So here is setting the waveform. And here I can see it on my X sheet. So the next thing that I want to do inside my X sheet is go ahead and go ahead and make a new column that will be my notes. So this column is called annotation, which will allow me to take notes for the audio track or any information on animation and it will allow me to take notes in time so that way I can use it as a reference. I can use it for information on the dialogue. I can also use it to put mouth shapes or animation notes such as straight ahead or pose to pose, ease in and ease out notes. So it's very useful to have this annotation. It's very useful to have this annotation available in your column inside your X sheet. One thing that helps with timing is using timeline markers. So not only can I put notes for the actual voice hits from the audio wave, but I can also put markers and see those markers on my frames in the timeline and they also show in the exposure sheet. Now the next thing that I wish to show is that we have actual drawings to help guide us with the mouth poses. In the homework pack, we actually have mouth poses that you can use to help guide your animation when you listen to the audio. I'm going to be using the references here for the mouth shapes. 
and that way it will guide me in order to make the mouse shapes match the audio. I'm going to show you how to set up a picture as a reference that you can put inside Harmony. It's very easy to do. So now the next thing I want to do is load up my model sheet over here so that way I can use it as a reference. I'm going to first import my model sheet as a TVG. So I'm going to make it into a Toon Boom vector image that can be loaded into a model view. So first, let me go ahead and look at my mouth shapes that I want. Mm, let's get something that where he's happy. There we go. And I want to actually reference this one. So I will import it. Bring it in as a Toon Boom vector image. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it into the library as a template. Now that I have it as a template, I'm going to go ahead and open up my model view. And this model view is basically just a window that allows me to load up my drawings. This model view allows me to load up my TVGs to use it as a reference for color information or to help me draw as a second monitor. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to my Harmony library. I'm going to look for my mouth shapes. And then I'll go look for the TVG file that I made using Toon Boom Harmony. So this is the imported image that is now a TVG. And then once I load it up, then I can go ahead and use it to do my work. So now that I have my basic shapes, I can go ahead and at least see where things can be. One thing I will do is make a in between the shapes. So I have him opening up his mouth in between his closed mouth position and his open mouth position. So what I will do is try to make a subtle in between so that way it will look nice. It's okay to add some additional shapes so that way it can be smoothed out. And we also want to make sure that we try to stay on model using the model sheet here. So I'm just following the guide. Following the model sheet, then I can at least see how the mouth lines up with the rest of his face. Here is where the L is. So I'm going to go over here and take a look at the L.
So if you're wondering, can you actually use this actual model in your animation? It will allow you to actually go ahead and cut out part of this and paste it into the Harmony system and paste the drawing into the camera view and paste the drawing into the camera view. So then what you can go ahead and do is work with it to So you can go ahead and flip it if you want to actually use it as a guide. And what I'll do is I'll sharpen that up a little bit more so that way it's clear that this is an L. And that's his mouth. And then I can go ahead and delete the reference. So that way I can see how it looks when I do the pencil test. Same thing, and I'll do one more. He's closing his mouth. Make sure they match in so that way when we do the animation you can see that he says L. So that way when you do the animation he hits his mark with the L and then goes to the E. One, please. 
One, please. It... No. Here, I think I want to add one more uh, foam. If he's going to be saying, I'm going to add one more with his mouth closed a little bit. I want to add more drawing right here so that way it looks a little bit smoother when he's opening and closing his mouth. So that way it looks like he has the p in please. So that way he looks like he says the, the p in please. One please. Is the one please. One please. There you go. And now we can fix the timing a little bit so that way it appears that he closes his mouth. One please. One please. Is the one please. Is the Okay, and one more drawing to make it smoother between the L. There you go, and his mouth closed. So I'm going to make one more drawing to make it smoother between the L and his mouth closed. And I'll do one more final check to make sure the mouth's in position.
So we do something to shade it in, but we want to shade in the middle just slightly. Then we can see the outline more. Same thing with here. We're going to make it a little bit softer so that way we can see the teeth and his tongue. <laughs> this frame, I think I want it to be more like an E shape. So I'll use my onion skin tool to see. So that is the process of doing one part of the lip sync. This is the process of doing a lip sync and hand drawn animation. Once you get uh, familiar with it, it will be no problem to continue on and doing the rest of the lip sync. By using the model sheet reference and going ahead and using my tools for the paperless animation, I can get the lip sync to match up with the dialogue pretty easy. Using my marking notes in my X sheet. I can see pretty easily where I need my mouth shapes using the exposure sheet and my marking notes here and also my timeline tools here. So this is a good example of doing lip sync in Toon Boom Harmony using the paperless method. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.